Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can update an old wooden play structure for older kids or grown-ups. You can also do this for grown-ups. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's when we first moved here, Izzy and Abby were four and two, and they loved this play structure. I also ran a home daycare, and it got used all the time. Now the girls are 13 and 11, and Milo, even though he's seven, they never play on this thing. We actually thought about taking it down, just tearing it down and looking at the neighbor's house. But we were scrolling through Facebook and we saw this really cool inspirational picture of a more adult swing set. So we decided to do that for the kids. This is a project that we wanted the kids to get involved. So they did a lot of the construction. They learned how to use drills, even the saw, which was slightly terrifying. They helped me stain. Until winter comes, until winter comes, until All of my kids love to read, so we knew that this would be a perfect spot for them to just chill and read a book. But we wanted a special spot for Milo, like a hammock maybe? We had this disgusting old sandbox that he got years ago. I kid you not, he has never played with the sandbox even one time. So that definitely was gonna go. boxed up the bottom with wood so we could make a cargo net for him so he could have like a little hammock area here except we couldn't find a cargo net anywhere so we had to make a cargo net this is just as hard as it sounds thankfully joe and izzy did most of this but you have to measure the length of rope cut the rope then izzy hung them all up to glue the ends so that they didn't fray because it was cotton rope and then meticulously tied square knots like 50 of them maybe more again i did a little help but mostly this was joe and izzy to create a cargo net for milo we added hooks underneath and then pulled it really taut. And it's the perfect spot for him to lay with his toys or read a book. It's like a little DIY hammock and he loves it. Kids wanted the top part of this tree fort to feel more like a secret hideout. So we took off the rock climbing wall and boxed it in. So there's only one entrance and it's like a ladder to get up to it. And then I just used some dollar store curtains and some dollar store pillows to definitely make this feel higgy, cozy. I don't know, like a little sweet little place for them to read. They're spending way more time up here now that it's closed in. And we added some Christmas lights too, so that it looks really cool at night. So when we're swimming and hanging out at night, they can come up here and play or read. My favorite part of this little upcycle is definitely these swings. The kids just never played on the old swings. They had outgrown them. They just sat there collecting cobwebs. So these two adult sized swings, we got them from Amazon. They're so comfortable. They're so relaxing to just swing. I think this is a perfect way to update an old swing set, whether it's a metal swing set or a wooden swing set for your grown up teenage kids, or even as an adult. It's like an inexpensive upcycle to an old swing set.
hope you guys enjoyed this update of our old wooden swing set. It's definitely getting a lot more use now. Plus it looks so pretty. I'm absolutely loving this makeover. If you have an old swing set that isn't being used, consider a little DIY. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. He's okay. It's all right. He got the wind knocked out of him, but he'll live. So thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. It's not a funny story. I just want to thank all of you who tuned in to the season premiere of Hot Mess House. Let me just say this. It got the highest ratings of any non-news show that night. We beat the Property Brothers new forever home. The, the Property Brothers, the Property Brothers in ratings. So it got the highest ratings of the night. I'm just like, I'm a little shell shocked. I'm also terrified because the ratings have to continue to be as good. And so maybe people just tuned in because they were like, hey, this idea seems cool. And maybe they hate the show and then won't come back. Or maybe they like the show. And either way, I'm just a ball of nerves. Can I just say that? I'm just like, I feel like I'm gonna get sick every moment of my day right now. It's just a very stressful time, but I wanted to thank all of you. I've seen your comments on HGTV's Facebook page and on Twitter, and I know that so many of you guys showed up and watched, and I am so grateful. Let's be honest, the only reason this is happening is because of you. It's because you've been watching and supporting and helping me grow a Clutterbug community. So thank you, just, I love you guys, and I'm just, I'm just so, so thankful for each and every one of you. So I wanted to spend a few minutes to share that with you and I'll keep you guys updated. And now that I'm done filming, I'm gonna go back to making more YouTube videos, which I'm very excited about. So if you have any ideas for future videos that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to make those for you. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys later.